Previously on Sanctuary. Prepare to meet Jekyll and Hyde. Death of a child. They're quite the same after that, is it? I'm Fallon, Rana's chief counsel. You're Quinteron. I'm Harusin, original offshoot of the species. After a while, Worth's experiments grew too dangerous. Time dilation experiments. I can tell you there was an accident. Hundreds died. The city has had too much power for too long. Frankly, I don't care if you depose Rana. The device has a far more meaningful destiny. <laughs> Business, oh boy. All debts paid in full. Good arm device. This is where I belong. For the moment. There's just too much here for us to ignore. It's a massive time dilation field. Something or someone is behind what happened in Carrington. Adam Worth and the Time Lords. He died months ago in Hollow Earth. What on earth is it? I've just been calling it a psych ward. The only explanation is that it came from Hollow Earth. We're getting reports from sanctuaries worldwide. We are on a full global alert. Well, then we have to head home. When did this happen? Less than half an hour ago. Rapid City dispatched National Guard, but they were called off. By whom? Don't know. Satellite imagery of the area's been blocked. Well, get Henry on it. He's already in the lab. He's establishing a video link with Dr. Lee at the UN. Oh. Bloody hell. How long, Henry? Coming online now. Dr. Magnus, Dr. Zimmerman, good to see you again. This is General Villanova with the Lotus Defense Corps. General Villanova's men were first on the scene. I've asked him to oversee ground operations. My men have established a three-mile perimeter and are clearing the surrounding area of inhabitants. We've also scrambled all communications and satellite transmissions. Yes, I've noticed. But I need to understand the full scope of the situation. Uh, we're getting the first images through now. I'm sending you a clean feed. Dear God. Abnormals. Coming up from Hollow Earth. I thought they couldn't do that. Our top priority is to ensure the safety of the general public. At this moment, we don't know who these creatures are or the threat they pose. There's no reason to suspect a sinister motive, General. Judging by the images, they're in need of our help. They surface less than 60 miles from a populated area. I'm requesting full authority to arrest and detain them by any means necessary. Well, just ease up on the throttle there. With all due respect, General, this is not your area of expertise. And yet, we were the first responders. That's because you jammed all the signals from the region. Jumped the gun to deliberately keep us in the dark. Dr. Magnus, what is your proposal? Turn over the abnormals to the sanctuary. Give us full jurisdiction. We've dealt with this kind of situation before. We know what we're doing. Do you have facilities large enough to house as many creatures? Currently, no. But I do own a large vacant lot not far from here. It's fenced in, completely private. The abnormals will be safe until I can arrange for more permanent accommodation. Sounds lovely, but I'm concerned about containment. My men currently have the situation under control. Now, they can round up the abnormals, convey them to your location, stay on and help run the camp. That's very considerate of you, General, but unnecessary. Actually, I think it's a good idea. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? This is a highly volatile situation, and we can't afford a repeat of the Psychworm incident. I see no harm in working together. But we- sent an advanced team and arranged transport. You can expect the abnormals by morning. Thank you, doctors. I appreciate your cooperation with this matter, Dr. Magnus. I'll be in touch. Uh, what the hell just happened? The word railroad comes to mind. Henry, contact the other heads of Sanctuary. Make them aware of the situation. Try to figure out why Rana isn't responding. I need to understand what the hell is happening. All right. And I'm... Going out and buying me a vacant lot. These guys had a busy morning. What this place set us back? You don't want to know. Dr. Zimmerman. Yeah. 
Lieutenant Coxwell. Good to meet you. Not exactly as secure as advertised. Well, we didn't have a lot of time, so. Well, I've worked with worse. Hey, what is this? Razor wire? Just a precaution. Jumpsuits? What kind of place are you running here? I've been granted authority to secure the camp as I see fit. Hold on a second. These people have come to us for help, and you're treating them like criminals. As far as I'm concerned, until we know differently, that's exactly what they are. Briggs, damn it! Get off your ass and use those men's Let's cover story. Army training operation. Oh, very Roswell. Got a statement from the chief of staff backing us up. He says hi. Nicely done. Doc, I understand how important it is to protect what we do here, but this last year, we've seen some crazy stuff. I mean, there was the pterodactyl over London. There was Suki in Japan, not to mention Big Bertha. Yeah, it's getting harder to keep things under wraps. Yeah, I mean, man, that pterodactyl video showed up three times on torrent sites before I was able to corrupt it for good. It's starting to go mainstream. Yeah, I've read the reports. I'm not sure there's much we can do about it. Yeah. Maybe we should stop trying. I mean, this latest situation could be an opportunity to show the world what we do around here. Even so, I'm not sure that the world is ready. But when will they be? I tried something similar to this in the late 1940s. Henry, it did not go well. Opinions are still the same as they were in the Dark Ages. So in answer to your question, maybe never. Will, how's it going? What? A military camp? It's not that I object to working with outsiders. It's just that this situation is particularly sensitive. Not only do we need to understand why more creatures are coming out of Hollow Earth, but whatever we do here will set the precedent for all future encounters. Dr. Magnus, I understand, but my hands are tied. In light of recent events, my superiors have established a dedicated security force, one that deals with abnormals over and above the activities of the sanctuary. Over and above? Don't misunderstand. The sanctuary still plays a vital role, but the type of situation we're encountering has grown more serious. Protecting abnormals is a noble endeavor, but we need to focus on protecting ourselves. Us versus them. That hasn't been the UN's policy on abnormals for decades. We can revisit the issue in the future, but for now, I'm afraid you have no choice but to work with General Villanova's men. How are the preparations going? Two C-130s arrived an hour ago. Our guests were loaded onto trucks and should be here any minute. <laughs> Welcome everyone. There's uh, there's food and blankets inside. I know you've had a rough ride, but you're safe now. Adam Worth stunned me with an energy weapon that left me to be captured. My Senate allies and I were convicted of treason, sentenced to death. So how did you escape? The help of other members of my tribe. I've been living in the Outlands ever since. What about your plans to overthrow Praxis? 
seize control of the government. I figured I was lucky just to be alive. Besides, Rana's forces clamped down on any opposition to the regime, imposed martial law. So why did you come to the surface? You know of our alliance with Rana. We had no choice. We lost power to our section of the tunnels. At first I thought Rana's forces had tracked me down, but no one came. And then the rumors began. The Praxis had been attacked. By whom? Truthfully, I, I don't know. We waited as long as we could. The power from the city is what sustains our water supply. Eventually, the local tribes met and we decided we would take our chances on the surface. She said when they got to the nearest gateway, the Praxian defenses were down. It would explain why the psychworms escaped. What does Rana say about it? We haven't been able to reach her. It's possible she's got her hands full quelling the rebellion. Truthfully, I'm inclined not to tell her about Fallon, given my experiences with their judicial system. What about their intentions here on the surface? All they want is to resume their way of life. Wishful thinking, isn't it? I suggested that her people would be safer in the sanctuaries, but she's not certain that she can convince her tribe of it. Well, tell them they don't have a choice. It's not how the sanctuary works, General. What? You're just gonna let them leave? Give them a hundred bucks each and turn them loose at Times Square? Of course not. We work with them, help them to adjust. They can never adjust. They're abnormals. Meaning what? They have no rights. Doc, I need you up here. A little busy right now. Uh, you need to get I'm busy. What's this about, Henry? Did you hear from Rana? Uh, no, she's still not answering. What is it then? Um... John. Adam's alive. We're all in grave danger. Here you go. <laughs> Take it. What's the deal? My water's not good enough? Is that old furry charm, I guess. No, seriously, it's like I have horns or something. That it help. Come on, Kate, look around you. Everyone here is an abnormal. To them, you're the strange one. Maybe treated well here. Oh, these are beautiful. May I? Sure. It's Palestine stone from my village. They say it matches our eyes, but I think it's to help with sails. <laughs> I brought as much as I could carry. It's hard to believe it's all I have left. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. I should keep it. No, no, I, I couldn't. Please, they're meant to be worn. Here, let me put it on you. Thank you. I'm Garris. Kate. Kate. It looks lovely, Kate. Explain yourself. I saw Adam a few days ago. How is that possible? The last time I saw him... He was getting away with the Calorum device. You and I have unfinished business, our boy. John, wait. Listen to me. I think you said quite enough. You don't understand what this device is capable of. I've given it some thought. <laughs> and it turns out I don't care! But you do care, John. You care deeply. That's what makes you and I the same. I don't know if you're trying to provoke me, so I'll kill you more quickly. 
I couldn't give you everything, everything you've ever wanted. Uh, 